there's something about work going it alone, being singular, being single, going alone, being an individual, working in an individual fashion and working in collaboration with others, working inside of community. There's some lessons or learnings that, that are taking place there for you. This is your future. Look at this community of women giving thanks, this abundance that they're experiencing and the gratitude. What is it do I really want? What do I want to focus on here? What is coming for me in the future? Because you know that what you focus on now is coming for you. Hey Leo, welcome to your general tarot reading for February 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first time here, my name's Amanda. I'm at Luna Sync Tarot and I do it. General tarot readings and love readings for each sign for each month. If you are returning, thanks for coming back. I want to mention that if you have Aquarius placements, you might head over to the Aquarius videos, the love video and the general tarot reading for Aquarius for February and leave a comment on those videos. I am pulling names from those comments for a free 30 minute personal tarot reading in February. I'll be drawing a name for that on February 15th. So worth checking out, worth leaving a comment. Alrighty, so I've been shuffling your cards off camera. I'm gonna give it a few last shuffles. We're gonna take a look at your heart, your mind, your body. We'll take a look at the past, present, and the future. And we will also pull clarifying cards all the way through and a card of guidance towards the end. So let's take a look at the energies that are surrounding you and how you can best work with them toward your greatest good. All right, in the position of your heart, we have the crone. She's been coming up in this position quite a bit. There's this sort of crossroads energy, like I'm at a crossroads. I need to kind of dig deep to figure out which way to go. Both options are viable. Both options are valuable. But which do I choose? This is in the position of your heart and in the position of your present moment. In the position of what you think about it all, Leo, is the son of dis. Yeah, really knowing, thinking about getting focused getting really focused on that target. You know, the word sin is, the root of the word sin is to miss the mark. Um, that story or that little tidbit is associated with the description of this card in the Mother Peace uh, tarot deck the book that that accompanies this card, which, by the way, is just such a rich uh, text. So there's something about here in the way that you're thinking about it all. You really understand that you do need to get focused, that it is all about that sort of like singular vision, you know, that sort of tunnel vision, your ability to really hone in on the thing that you want. It does seem to have to do with something tangible. In the position of your body, we have the Priestess of Swords. Holy moly, wow. Long-term vision. Yeah, I think you're, you're thinking about something. You're strategizing towards something in the future. Like this is a long-term vision for what it is that you want to bring into your own reality, what it is that you want to manifest, what it is that you want for yourself. This is... Uh, clairvoyance to a certain extent. There's a lot of clarity here in the way that you think, in the way that you think about the future. This vision feels really powerful to me. This envisioning feels very powerful to me. And this is in the foundation of your reading. So it is, everything sits on this. In the past, we have the eight of discs in reverse. Interesting. There's a push-pull here between working inside of a community on your craft and working, going it alone. There might have been like a deliberation there about that, about working with others versus working singularly, individually, working in solitude. Which, which way do I go? And of course, we have the crossroads here, two paths, two options in the present. Um, in the position of the future, we have the Ten of Cups. Yes. 
ultimate emotional fulfillment. You can see the, the women in this card are giving thanks for a great harvest. So something has come to fruition and it makes you feel an extreme, extreme, extreme amount of uh, gratitude and abundance, like that sweet spot. And those moments are so fleeting, can be so fleeting. This is in the future. Something, some choice that you make is going to lead to this experience. It's a ending and a new beginning. Tens are always that. Something is wrapping up. Something is opening up. There's something to do here with envisioning the future, clarity of thought, and focus. Strategy has to do with this choice that you're making. And the qualities of this choice are somehow imbued with this deliberation around working alone, working together, collaboration, individualism. Okay, let's pull some clarifying cards. Let us work with the Magician deck by Rose Monaco. <clears throat> Leo. Hmm. What is this uh, choice? What is this choice? What is this crossroads? What are the options? You know, in the traditional deck, the crone is the hermit, and that is definitely going it alone. Okay, wow, this is a lot. I'm going to keep shuffling. That was like full on 10 cards that flipped up there. So what is this deliberation? Is it a deliberation about working together versus working alone? Could be that you tried to work on something in the past inside of a collaboration, inside of a community. It didn't quite work out and now you're considering going alone. <clears throat> What is this crone in the position of your heart and the present moment? Whoa. Yeah, there's some play here on solitude versus community versus collaboration. We have some cards here, it, particularly where it comes to envisioning this future for yourself, where the people are acting alone. I mean, she has the owl as her familiar, um, and he has a robin, in fact. This is a lot about perception, ideolo ideologies, ideologies, <laughs> belief systems. <laughs> um, the way that you think about something. And and there's acting alone here, but then there's also these cards of community. So, for what it's worth. All right. Um, this deck does not want to participate with me. Doesn't want to play. This deck doesn't want to play with me. It just keeps flipping up tons and tons and tons of cards. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to shuffle it because um, I'm going to shuffle it. I'm going to split it and I'm going to pull a card to clarify the crone here. What is this option? What is this choice? In the position of your heart, in the position of your present moment, at a crossroads of some sort. I'm going to split the deck three ways. Mm. Whoa, Knight of Cups. Taking action around something that you really, really want. Your deepest desire. I get a sense that there's, there's a few things that you really want. Because we are at a crossroads and there are options. 
So the deliberation is like, what, what, what do, which one, it's almost like a seven of cups energy. Which one is the right choice for me that will bring about this 10 of cups reality? It could also be that somebody comes in. The court cards are personalities, sometimes external to us. Somebody comes in with an, a heartfelt offer of love. It's emotional, it's romantic, could be an invitation, could be a message. Some sort of action around love, some sort of action around your emotions. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> Ooh, I really do need to get a some sort of frame for that. It's just an awkward size, so I'm having a hard time finding one. All right, so this decision around your deepest desire could be also a need to pull in a feeling state where it comes to envisioning your future. Make sure that when you are Engaging in visualization that you're also feeling it. You're feeling what it is like to have that in your life in the present moment. What will it feel like? What does it feel like? Okay. What is this uh, collaboration in the past? This working on your craft inside of a community of support or um, this kind of teeter-totter between working together, working alone. What is what what is this about? What are the qualities of that eight of discs energy? <clears throat> oh, okay. The outside, the outsider. <sighs> yeah. Are you inside or are you out? Are you inside of the community? Are you inside of the collaboration or, or are you on the outside? And how do you feel about working with others versus working alone? Does working alone, does going it alone make you feel more like an outsider or does working in community trigger some of those feelings inside of you of being good enough of belonging this ten of cups energy was where I wanted to clarify next without saying it my mind went there and these cards popped out the master and patience in reverse So this could speak to a quality of impatience. It could also speak to wondering if the effort that you're putting in right now is going to yield, yield the harvest that you desire. There is a doubt there, the master. This will bring about some sort of lesson here about what it takes to really pull in your deepest heart's desire. Hmm. You know, I, I have to say, I just listened to Chani Nicholas's Week Ahead. I mean, literally just before I did this reading. Um, and it's the 27th of January. Tomorrow on the 28th is the full moon in Leo. And she was talking about this relationship that Venus or some, it's either a conjunction or a square or something like that. Uh, tune into the Week Ahead with Chani Nicholas to, to learn more. But there's some sort of relationship that Venus is coming into with Pluto, I believe. Um, early morning Thursday, that would be tomorrow on January 28th, where, you know, it's a really good time to begin to unearth 
some of those relationship dynamics that are older that maybe you don't want to bring forward into the future. And I'm just bringing that up now because what we have here is somebody at a crossroads making a choice around an action in love, your deepest heart's desire. Somebody might be coming forward with an offer of love. And there's some lessons here about your ultimate emotional fulfillment, some mastery, and some impatience, some doubt, some curiosity, some doubt about whether or not your effort will yield the reward that you're hoping for. There's something about work, going it alone, being singular, being single, going alone, being an individual, working in an individual fashion and working in collaboration with others, working inside of community. <clears throat> There's some lessons or learnings that, that are taking place there for you. This is your future. Look at this community of women giving thanks, this abundance that they're experiencing and the gratitude that they're experience, experiencing around this abundance mindset. Also this energy in the past of feeling like you're on the outside. So what is it that you really want? And that is what you're thinking about. What is it do I really want? What do I want to focus on here? What is coming for me in the future? Because you know that what you focus on now is coming for you. Look at the beautiful clarity of this card. Long-term vision. Future vision. Okay. All right, what shall we do now? Let's pull a card of guidance for you. We'll, we'll pull a, a few cards for you. Let's start with the goddess cards. Card of insight around this situation for Leo, please, here in February 2021. <clears throat> Who's got your back? Who's supporting you at this time? What do you need to know? Aphrodite. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. This does feel like it has something to do with your heart, with your emotions, with the way that you think about yourself in terms of love, self-love, self-care. Let's pull a crystal card. Inner goddess. Flint. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever read this card before. <clears throat> Flint. All right, let's look into Flint. Number two. Ah, twos are about options, about choices, about crossroads. Portal power. Oh, it's also about a portal. You know, with the high priestess, the two um, pillars. The pillars show up a lot in the imagery in the Rider Waite deck, and they do serve as a portal of some sort. Flint. Flint stabilizes energy and cuts through to the core of issues, clearing blockages and loosening ties. It opens portals to other worlds and hidden aspects of yourself. Self-understanding, you are a person with profound inner depths. Do not be afraid to explore this hidden side. It contains treasure beyond knowing. Together with attitudinal karma, what is that? Attitudinal karma, is that like what you believe, what you feel, the, your attitude, your approach has its own karma, has its own consequence, is its own effect? 
together with attitudinal karma and repressed emotions affecting well-being. Let me read that sense again. Do not be afraid to explore this hidden side. It contains treasure beyond knowing, together with attitudinal karma and repressed emotions affecting well-being. Flint connects you to your ancestors. A natural traveler, you know how to negotiate the shamanic underworld to obtain healing insights. The divination, strengthen your boundaries. Cut through confusion to the core of the matter. Heck yes! Clarity. Look at all the clarity here. Cut through confusion to the core of the matter. Let's see. <clears throat> Soul retrieval is necessary if you've left any part of yourself in another life or an abusive childhood experience. An unwelcome visitor from the past can be left behind, but recognize lessons before you move on. The healing insight. Paying attention to energetic boundaries and core strength, cutting detrimental ties and strengthening your connection to the planet maintains well-being. The frequency is earthy. The chakra is earth, star, and base. The timing is Scorpio, and the soul path is safely exploring other worlds. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. We're going to pull one more card for you. Leo, if this is resonating, hit the like button. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, if, you're, if you'd if you like to dive deeper, if you'd like a personal reading, I'm doing those now. The link is below in the description box. Wait a minute. I don't want this. I want this. I want the medicine cards. Card of guidance for Leo in February 2021, please. Oh, oh, otter. I love this card. So beautiful. Yeah, there's something about your inner goddess, your femininity, your deepest heart's desire, your ultimate emotional fulfillment. Otter is about like woman strength, like woman medicine, femininity, um, divine feminine strength. Let's read about otter. A lot of water here. At least the vibe is very watery to me. The medicine held by Otter is a set of lessons in female energy. This applies to both men and women, as all of us have female sides. The Otter's hide is very often used to make medicine bags for powerful women because it represents balanced female energy. Let's see. It may be a time to examine your feelings about sharing the bounty of your life with others. Otter, okay, so the bounty of your life with others. Holy moly. The bounty of your life with others. Yeah, that deliberation that I was talking about earlier. Hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It may be a time to examine your feelings about sharing the bounty of your life with others. Otter may be saying that the finer qualities of woman need to be striven for in both men and women so that a unity of spirit can be achieved. This would involve the destruction of jealousy and all of the acts of anger which stem from that fear. It would mean keeping a hawk eye on your ego and maintaining total trust. It would mean a world full of people coming together to honor the right of each person to be. If you've drawn this symbol, Otter may be telling you to become the playful child and to simply allow things to unfold in your life. It may be time to stop your addiction to worrying. Otter also teaches the importance of not hanging on to material things that would bind you or become a burden. In looking at how you can learn from Otter's habits, you might look at the joyousness of the receptive side of your nature. Have you given yourself a gift recently? Self-care, that's Aphrodite, right? Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Whew. Have you received any messages in your meditations? Become otter and move gently into the river of life. Flow with the waters of the universe. This is the way of balanced female receptive energy. 
honor it. In doing so, you will discover the power of woman. This is, look at otter. Look at the way that um, this otter is smiling, like coquettishly turning around and smiling. I love it. Leo, I'm wishing you the best in February. This sounds like a delicious journey. Um, take good care.